What's up guys, welcome back to Rip City Rundown. And a Shams rumor just dropped today regarding a team possibly wanting to trade up for the third overall pick, second overall pick. They want Scoot Henderson, that team is the New Orleans Pelicans, and now we have possibly another trade partner for the Portland Trailblazers with that third overall pick. Obviously, we've been talking about in all of our videos and all of our podcasts how we prefer the Blazers to trade this pick um, before the NBA draft. However, we've kind of slowly realized there's not a lot of options out there for us to possibly trade for, and it seems like it could be inevitable that we do use this pick to draft either Scoot Henderson or Brandon Miller. However, the Pelicans are coming in saying they want this pick, and we're going to see if we could possibly do a little business with them. The thing is, they are looking for Scoot Henderson. That is who they want to trade up for. They're not looking for Brandon Miller. They're not looking for an Amin Thompson. So, Obviously, the Hornets are in the prime position to make a move like this. If the Hornets are looking to move down, if they want to trade for one of the Pelicans' pristine assets, if they're looking to get a haul in draft picks, the Pelicans have a lot of picks. They have Dyson Daniels. They've got Brandon Ingram, possibly, they could use. They've got Zion, Herb Jones, Trey Murphy. They've got a lot of guys they could possibly trade. The Hornets are in a prime position for that. However, if come draft night, the Hornets do go with Brandon Miller, you could look at the Portland Trailblazers, and they can be in a prime position to move this pick, who obviously would be Scoot Henderson, for possibly one of the Pelicans' two best players. And obviously those two best players we're talking about are Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson. If the Blazers are trading the third pick, we've said it over and over, they're not trading it for just a slew of role players, a slew of depth. They're trading that because they want to get a certified all-star caliber player next to Damian Lillard. So you're not going to see most likely a move where it's Trey Murphy, Herb Jones, and some picks for this third overall pick. That's not going to happen. The Blazers don't want that. They, they probably would rather just use the pick at that point. However, the Pelicans do have two players that the Blazers could classify as that star player to put next to Damian Lillard. And personally, if I'm making a move, I look at Brandon Ingram first as a guy I would want for the Portland Trail Blazers to target. Now, I think it would be more likely that the Pelicans would move on from Zion. Obviously, he's been in the news recently with some off-the-court stuff, and then obviously he hasn't been able to stay healthy throughout his career. So he's probably more likely to get traded in a move like this. But I think first and foremost, the Pelicans are just trying to get this without giving up one of those guys. They're probably targeting the Hornets because they know they'll more likely want to take draft picks and young assets that aren't necessarily star players or all-star caliber players right now. The Blazers aren't doing that. If you're doing a deal for Brandon Ingram, he's making $31 million this year, it would be an Ant in the number three pick. Maybe you could squeeze out Ant number three for Brandon Ingram and try to sneak, bring back Larry Nance. Who knows? Bring in Josh Richardson as a bench piece. Who knows? They could even be willing to trade for Scoot so much that they're willing to trade us a Trey Murphy or, dare I say, Herb Jones. But if you're doing a Zion Williamson trade, that's when you're probably not even including Ant. You're going third pick. You're going maybe Nasir. You're going third pick Nasir and Nurk because he's only making $13 million a year. So, Or you could trade Ant in that, in that scenario, trade Ant in the third pick, and then for sure get Zion and someone else back because I think at this point Brandon Ingram holds more trade value than Zion Williamson. Brandon Ingram I think would probably be – I don't know where I put, I put him in the podcast, as you saw in a recent video or a recent podcast. I put him in that same tier as Jalen Brown, the same tier as Pascal Siakam. I don't know where I land on if he's better than them or not. I'm not sure if he would cost more for them or for himself than those other guys. But I think he goes right in that tier of Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown, Pascal Siakam, maybe Mikhail Bridges in that tier. And then the tier below is like your OG on an OB and so on and so forth. So... This is just another another guy the Blazers could target, another team that could do moves with the Blazers, and I think over the next couple weeks we'll see more and more teams wanting Scoot Henderson because everyone's saying this guy's a generational prospect. Well, if he is, obviously there's going to be teams knocking on the door to get him. I do think we will have a lot of options to possibly trade this pick, a lot of teams that will be looking for it. It's just a matter of who we want to go with and if we think we can get enough value for it because obviously it's been reported that the Blazers – they're not trading this pick unless they get a haul, unless they get that star player, unless they get exactly what they're looking for. They're not going to settle. They're not trading this thing for OG on an OB straight up. Heck, they might not even trade this pick for Pascal Siakam straight up. That's how much this pick is valued. It'll be very interesting to see if come draft night, if they end up 
doing business with the Pelicans and if the Pelicans are willing to move on from either Zion or Brandon Ingram. Because if you remember, they were a two, they were, I believe, the one seed actually when they were fully healthy. Obviously, Zion got hurt. Brandon Ingram missed some time last year. They plummeted, didn't even make it into the playoffs after losing in the play in. So, do they want to run it back with this team? Do they want to try to get Scoot? Who knows what they want to do? They're kind of honestly in a weird spot. Do we dare say trade CJ McCollum for Scoot straight up and run it back with Damon CJ? That was obviously a joke, but a lot of options here. I didn't really see this on my radar. I thought the Pelicans were going to kind of want to run it back like this. Again, maybe that's what they want to do. So much more to talk about. We'll go more in depth on it in the podcast uh, coming Wednesday, so be on the lookout for that. That's all I got for this video, guys. Comment if you would want either Zion, if you would want Brandon. Who would you want to get if that is a deal? I do think Zion would be interesting. I'm not just saying no. Uh, and instantly, obviously, values all that matters at the end of the day. So make sure to subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.